Hello and welcome! I'm Applesauce and this is another Let's Play! This time we're taking a look at Matt TV. It can be loosely described as a management sim, rather comedic, and as you can see, top-down presentation, scrolling screen, we have two competitors, and we have to as the name indicates, manage, successfully, a TV station. But many tribulations, complications, hilarious moments, and many other unexpected events render this a rather enjoyable experience. So, first save of the game, we have just spoken to our angry, angry boss, and to start things off, this is our office. Well, you have to get things set up, so we're going to get some advertising, some movies, and some news. You basically have to get good adverts. That means having a good delay to be able to show them but also good revenue per advert and also making sure that the percentage and the amount of viewers we need is achievable so we have to balance quite a few things so that's a good one okay let's let them get the others and go set up our news so that our broadcasting can go smoothly Republicans want asylum. Law strengthens. Ep goes to South Africa for a state visit. And the military coup in Angola. More news coming. We're going to the movie agency to buy, well, movies and series that our TV can show. Hopefully, funny or good ones. We're a bit strapped for cash, so we have to go for the somewhat budget options. These, whoa, they bought Bonanza and, what? They're loaded. Okay, we have to fill up our, we have to fill up, Who done it? that's a good one. As you'll notice, most movies have <laughs> funny descriptions. You can pause the, the game at any time to read them because we're a bit strapped for time we actually need oh yeah we don't have money for that we need to do things quickly in this game the the time is always counting down but read the descriptions by all means they're hilarious most of the time Particularly at the beginning, I'll have a tough time keeping up with the competition. I think we're going to yeah, show this. It's not very good, but it'll have to do. La Strada. And to finish off the day, maybe a whodunit. A good one there. So, news. 16%. 16%. Yeah, all level. So they have the same news as we did. Hopefully we can get 10% off of these. We're going to see if we can get better adverts and what ratings our competition had and what competition... Oh, 09? 8. Okay, so when there are ratings draws, that means two stations at least, have exactly the same ratings, there is no top rating and no bottom rating for that hour of transmission. What does that mean? That means that the repetition of the stations does not go up or down. Because whenever there is a discrepancy, there's one station that has good ratings, top ratings, and another station that has bad ratings, and there is no tie, so no two have exactly the same percentage, that station, the one with the higher ratings, gains reputation, one point, 
and the one with the lowest reputation loses one point. So we're going to get that because we don't need the 5%. Just double check to see if we can get better. Oh, yes, logical. That's a good value for each showing. So basically you have to do a, um, a ratio between the number of slots, average slots you have to place, and the revenue that it gives you. So logical, for, for example, gives you 25,000 per advert spot at 5% rating. So 2.5 uh, million viewers, 5%, gets you $25,000, which is pretty good. For instance, Deli Cat, which is 10% viewership, gives you only 20,000. So it's not as good as logical for high ratings. I took it because it's still a good value for money, but not as good as logical. Let's just see if there are good news to be bought. No, no news. So if you see here at the, in the newsroom, news anchor, we have political news that costs $1,000 a day, show business news, and sundry news that must cost, cost 10000 a day. So you have to pay 10000 a day plus the cost of every story that uh, comes up during the day. So you have to pay those 10000 a day plus the value of every news that comes, that comes along. So these are in blue, these red and green, so you can tell the difference. But it's not easy. Not easy getting good news uh, on the fly. So let's set up our lineup for tomorrow. So we have a series, a sundry series, so basically a history like History Channel type series. And they had no adverts. <laughs> they had no time to put on adverts, so we may be just 25,000 ahead. We got the best adverts uh, sponsors. So, news, 14, 14, 14, as expected, and they have, as you can see here, we have 0.7 million, they have 0.98 million. That means they have more viewers in total possible. They have more satellites and transmitters than we do. So, okay, so they, get, they got the top, so they got 10%. They got, and we got the bottom, crap. So we lost one, we lost one, Reputation, see? We are at 33%, they're at 34%. So they won one, they won one <laughs> reputation and we lost one. And we did not reach 10% viewership, so we need a 5% ad there again. And we're going to just move back our 10% ads just so we can uh, play some better ones. And just in case, I think we can get maybe 20% there. That's that would be ideal and try to get this and try to get this series finished today so we can get some money for extra movies. Because tomorrow we don't have enough programs for a um, for a full lineup so we get these movies Back to the Future action movie Blue Velvet that says X rated that means it, it can only be shown from 20 from 9 p.m. till later. If you show it before that, the movie either gets a fine or gets confiscated, I think. And the ratings basically are calculated based on the critics score and box office score of the movie. And of course, the total value of the movie of the movie that tells you basically how popular it was or how valuable it is. As you can see, cultural programs are not very, very popular, and we have no uh, box office score, but a Betty score. A Betty score? Well, yes, because the ultimate goal in this game, as the intro shows, is to, well, seduce Betty. Seduce Betty. And we'll get to that a bit later. Uh, for now, we'll have to concentrate on getting business done because it's cutthroat competition for the first uh, few days. At least. At least.
So, logical, done. And they, the Juban and Sons of They, I know this by heart, are both 10% ads, but with lower per slot uh, payouts than uh, those we have. Any good news? No good news, okay. So let's cross our fingers and hope for 10% at least. So that our new concept in cat food, buy cats for cats, can get through. So 15 is not the top, 18 is the top, and we were the bottom, but we had 12, okay. So cultural programs are not very good, but we had got 12. Just to be safe, I think I'm going to actually put Back to the Future today and start out strong. And then maybe, if we don't get anything better, put La Strada tomorrow, actually. This way we might actually be able to reach the 20% mark and get money for better movies for tomorrow. So Karate Kid, Police Academy 5 which actually I remember is not that good of a movie, to say the least, has got the top ratings. Well, 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 well. so La Baguette Baguette's one, two, or three yards long. You'll also notice that each ad has not only the bonus, you get paid out if you show it with enough ratings, but you also have a penalty. That means that you if you don't show the required ads within the set limit, you have to pay them the penalty cost. So for instance, logical, if we do the five ads with more than 5% ratings within two days, we get in total 125,000. If we don't, we have to pay them 25,000. We don't get anything and we have to pay them. And some you see have a more punishing ratio of bonus to penalty, but also a more lenient delay in which you can show these adverts. So it's, uh, Give and take. It's, some have some of the advantages, some have higher penalties. It's uh, it's balanced out. Our cozy office with Donald Duck staring there. And this is our coverage, as you can see. They have better coverage. They have a total viewership of 7 million with two transmitters each, so they start off better than we do at this difficult level. We have only one transmitter with 5 million, so they have a uh, viewership, not in terms of percentage, but in terms of total viewers possible, that is uh, a step up from ours at the get-go. So we're uh, a few rings down the ladder from uh, their position. We basically have to battle our way up. Let's just go see, actually, call the elevator. And see exactly who we're talking about when uh, we're talking about Betty. So we got Dalicat done, they got Juban, so they got paid out already. And Rushware, one, two, three, and that's actually a good advertiser. So they'll have good money. It's uh, 80,000 for three adverts. Rushware. And still no news. Okay. Let's go see Betty. So we uh, know what we're fighting for. There she is. So Sammy, Sammy is an award that is uh, given out uh, periodically. So tomorrow we'll be competing for the best news award. And here's Betty. Hello, applesauce. You should knock first so I can mentally adjust to your revolting presence before you come in. <laughs> okay, so basically she hates us. And as you can see, there are three picture frames right next to her. One for each of the competitors in the game. So whenever we please Betty by showing shows that uh, she likes or by giving her gifts, our picture will move up the wall. And if it gets all the way up, it's this meter over here. If it gets all filled up, we win. So let's get the ratings. They got 15, 16, and we also got 16. So we will not be able to play Baguette as an advertisement. We did not have 20%, which is disappointing, actually. 
So we'll go for a Delicat. Yeah, a Delicat 10%. Right, so Logical, another super arcade fun from Rainbow Arts. Rainbow Arts is actually, well, this developer that also um, created another one of my childhood favorites, uh, Pizza Tycoon, which is another really, if I'm not mistaken, I think it is. I think it is made by them. It's a really funny game also. So, La Baguette. Soft drop, three days in the corner of shop okay, back drop on top. There is no penalty, so if we ever have a hole in advertising we have to fill with really poor ratings, back drop is ideal because if you take it, there's no penalty for not showing it, and you can always get a minimum of 5,000 for uh, plugging in any advertisement hole you basically failed. And Hoffman is always a safe bet because you have 14 days to show the three ads. So even though they pay out only 15,000 per slot, it's uh, a long time. So it's like a backup plan, Bikeshop and Hoffman, so that you, that you always have some adver my advertisement to, to show, rather than uh, just go by with uh, an empty slot. So uh, I'm actually unsure as how much... Right, so we don't have any idea, but I'm guessing to go from one day to the next in expenses like uh, transmitters and news and things like that we'll need something like 50,000 at the end of the day so that's why I'm aiming to get at least one advertisement finished until then so that we can uh, not go bankrupt <laughs> on our first day on the job let's just go see if there are any news out because it would be great if we could get Higher ratings, but not really, okay. So let's replace Angola News with Angola News. The government just restored two rebels arrested. And since tomorrow there's an award for news, we're going to buy tomorrow morning early on, well, afternoon when the day starts for us, show business news so we can get better news. And we still have, did not make the 20% crap. So 17, but we got the higher ratings, that's good. So we can recover from our previous low, yeah, ratings and... Okay, and go back up to 33, which is not ideal, but it's something. Something, something we can hold on to. And actually, we might be able to squeeze by Delicat instead of Logical. And if we can manage that, and I think we, yeah, it's a pretty safe bet we can with flatliners, we'll actually keep our lower ratings advertisements for tomorrow when we have a weaker lineup during peak hours. Yeah, let's do that, actually, and put in... Yeah, and we may be getting yeah, we may be able to get a ten percent ad for that slot, and then another one there. Hopefully, actually, I'm a bit worried. We need to get a twenty percent between today and tomorrow if we don't want to pay that ten thousand penalty. So, yeah, there's also that, which is a bit worrying. But uh, well, ten thousand isn't the end of the world. So let's take a look around at the building, because there are quite a few rooms in the building, and most of them are, well, <laughs> they have funny vignettes and uh, music. So this basically is where we can rent out spaces in the building. As you can see, most spaces are actually occupied. Hmm, I wonder how we can free them up. That's a mystery that took me as a child a bit to really get how, how to make that work, but I'm sure we'll be able to show that off sooner or later. And then we have rooms like this! With some lounge music and, and whatnot. So this is... this room is... Peace Brothers! International League... Uh, Peace League, right. 
And I really like <laughs> the furnishings in the, the building. So let's go to the weapons dealer. A weapons dealer in the business. Right. So that's uh, pretty self-explanatory. So whip is a zero. Rush where are they done? So they got 80,000 there. Right. Weapons dealer. The rattling agency. And the consulate of People's Republic of Dubin. Dubin. Right. What could be Dubin? Well, actually, it's uh, it's supposed to be Dubai. <laughs> it's like a, a proxy for Dubai. And you're going to see why. Why that is, because... Consulate of People's Republic of Dubin. They have an oil well <laughs> inside the building. And the rating's 9, 14, and we... Ah, we tied them, so no bonus for us. And we will be able to get the 10 in the next hour, I think. I think. We can squeeze by with higher than 10. Oil rig, yeah. So they have oil. Dubin has oil. Nothing like Dubai, nothing. And we have another free Dubin. Consulate of the Free Republic of Dubin. And they have no oil, poor bastards, but the camels are well stocked. So that's where we buy movies and uh, series to show. The Screenplay Agency, by Jonas Gibble, <laughs> is where we can buy either series or shows which we can produce ourselves in the studio hire actors and uh, special effects and whatnot and produce a show. If it's a show, it's a one-time thing. So you, you produce one show, you put it on air and then you have to produce another one. Or a series and you get to use that um, normally so you can replay it several times and this is the... <laughs> right. This is the uh, American Society Against Nicot <laughs> Nicotine Addiction. And there, the Coalition of American Tobacco Producers, just next door. It's the same dudes, <laughs> but they're smoking. I guess the lollipops have uh, no effect in uh, breaking their bad habits. The table is a giant cigar. <laughs> uh, I like these vignettes. Biocontrolled Biodynamic Monster Building. What could that be? Ah, well, seems to be just what it says it is. Crazy scientist guy with plenty of monsters around. That one looking through the, uh, the beaker there. Psychiatrist Harry M.D. Right! We're sure to get uh, well under the care of the doctor here <laughs> with the paranoid <laughs> and swirling uh, not at all stereotypical and right here we have the laundry room where the laundry is done industrial size under design docking okay <laughs> industrial size of laundry room Let's try to get up uh, for the news, just to make sure that we get some good news if there are some to, to buy. I think we can get there in time. I may have been careless going so far. There are no news, okay. Let's check out the supermarket, so I can uh, show you how that works. So all at 6%. So who done it? Yeah, we got 13, so that's enough for our advert. You can see here. And they got 13, so we got, yeah, again, tied. So there's a bunch of junk in the supermarket. So props and uh, a whole bunch of uh, crap. And this is where, and this is like, it, I think is a, a bug by the game, where you can buy the props, but of course you have to have something to produce for, for there to be a shopping list to, out or presents where you can buy presents for Betty. 
from a canopy to honeymoon trip. And I like the way that we already gave her seven vouchers for plastic surgery because it's the eighth time. That's sure to impress her with our goodwill. Let's go see the porter. The porter sometimes has interesting uh, information about um, the movie agency being uh, rented out again or because that means that the stock will be uh, renewed. But today, ah, what a boring day. And he's a bit of a, a boozer. <laughs> Booze hidden all over. And we also have the information board, which will come in handy for a particular uh, action. I'll keep it a mystery until we use it because it's uh, rather funny. And of course you have TV vignettes for each type of uh, program we'll be uh, broadcasting. And the target audience that will be always displayed um, in the right hand corner so that we have some idea of the, the people that uh, watch the shows. I'll just save that. So we'll have 129,000. So I think tomorrow, the beginning of the day, we'll have enough to buy a good show for this slot. Otherwise, we'll have to use one of our crappy ones. Um, and to buy good news, so we can, I hope, win the Sammy. That would be invaluable. Let's just hold up the elevator. And so, of course, the studios is where uh, we can uh, produce shows and series we have bought uh, for uh, internal uh, internal productions. Okay, so we got Delicat done and 129. And it's the end of the day, one in the morning. And we start off early to the next day uh, at uh, 7, if I'm not mistaken, or 6. Uh, I forget. Right, boss. I'll get cracking at 5, right. So, 96,000. So, that's enough for good news, I think. So, these are old news for, from yesterday. Put in new news for today. And we'll go see if we can find a good movie to put in our uh, post uh, national or history channel series uh, slot. But nothing too expensive, like, yeah, these way too expensive for us. change the slot with uh, La Strada and try, like crossing my fingers, and try to get the 20% ratings for that instead. And do it like this. Ah, you could also use a... Uh, 10% ad. So let's see if we can uh, if we can find one. You will always do better by trying to find the highest ratings possible ads uh, 
you can because, well, they, they are no better. As you can see, some adverts uh, require some uh, specific types of shows. So those usually pay out more, but, well, they're more risky because you have to have the good ratings with the correct type of show or broadcast, which is sometimes quite difficult. that are actually terrible. Actually, these are better than the other ones. Let's see if something popped in. No, even worse, 50%. We'll never get 50% with uh, our uh, broadcasting library. So let's go see the news. We need to get the best news we can get today. Actually, just to make sure we win the Sammy, and get all the news possible activated just for the day. Uh, I, I won't be spending 20,000 every day at this point on news because that's, that's a waste of money. But for the purposes of winning the Sammy today, we're gonna do it. And already, whoa, that totally paid off. 8,000 worth news, devastating consequences of Earth in South Africa. That is great. So they have 23, 9, and we also have 23. Crap. That means that if they have the exact same ratings as us in percentage, Mad TV will have the upper hand because they have more viewers. And that is the differentiating factor in terms of if there is a draw in terms of ratings for the for the prize, so that's not a good start. And they bought Bonanza, which is killing the ratings. Eight, and they have Deck Tyree, which is quite good also, so we get the worst ratings for the time slot. Right. That's not good. And we actually need to make money quick if we want to buy the best news during the day, so... Uh, trying to think... Yeah. Let's hope there are no news that are worth more than 12,000 to buy during the next two hours, and otherwise we'll have to sell something on the go. Also, we can sell off movies and series we, we have shown previously. Of course, they'll be worth less if they have been shown recently because the interest will have waned. But uh, if you need to make a quick buck, you can uh, do it that way. Actually, I think it might be safest to do this. Place these two early on today because I'm sure we get at least 10%. And finish off logical later in the day. And this way we'll have 40,000 to manage the news. Actually, we could have done that with, Do with Doggy, but. Ah, never mind. So, this way we're sure to get good money today. Any, any way possible. So, I'll okay, get at least 30 here and the expenses so it was was 20,000 plus news cost plus studio rental right so actually not that much for the time being as soon as we can we'll also be trying to well buy more transmitters because Bigger audiences mean we reach, um, we can uh, reach more people and play better slots for ads with uh, lower percentages. Because what counts is actually the amount of people watching for ads. And no new news, so 26 and yes! So we're already ahead, we got 26. They only got 20, so we're ahead for the news today already. That's great. I think we will be able to get the semi. 
So 12%, so we get the 10, great. And they got 19, and they had nothing to broadcast. Right, must have blown all the cash on Bonanza and that other movie they bought. That was pretty expensive. That, that's good. That, well, that's bad for them because it's an automatic uh, loss in reputation. So we, we're managing to stay afloat, which is all we can hope for uh, right now. It's really good. Starting off that way is really, really good. As you can see, there's um, a current bar underneath the uh, information there, and that is the interest in the movie. So because we broadcast it yesterday, the current bar was depleted partially. And if we show it again, it'll get lower ratings because the interest isn't as high, and the bar will deplete some more. With time, that bar will replenish the current bar. So we can broadcast the same movie again in a few days' time or a few weeks' time, and the interest will have, well, recovered in the meantime. So that's finished. And soft shop within two days. And let's try and do that. And doggy within two days, and Jubin within two days, and baguette until tomorrow. Yeah, so hopefully we can get this today. That would be ideal, ideal for us. And we also need plenty of money. That's why I'm crossing my fingers that we win the Sammy. I'll tell you why later. Because uh, we need money to buy, well, <laughs> three slots to fill. Maybe we can get um, Ben-Hur, I saw in the store. That is an epic movie that is four slots. So that would be good, good value for money. And another movie is so that we can film the other two late in the day. And that way we could, even if the movie doesn't get very good ratings throughout the four slots, and keep in mind that a movie, the longer it is, uh, the lower the relative value per hour it is. So the lower ratings it, it, it's going to have when you divide the value of the movie by the number of time slots it will fill out. So that's done from us, and let's see if there are news to buy. There are. Great. So 3,000, 4,000, and 3,000. And we have 27, they have 21, they have now 21. Okay, we're going to win this. Okay. And the news are hilarious. Lesbian is 22nd victim of Black Emperor of Moscow. Imelda Marcus, lunatic asylum. Imelda Marcus, wife of uh, Indonesian dictator. 31! Crap. 17, that was the lowest. And we did not get... Crap. Oh, but this is not our main... Right, High Noon is our main movie. Okay. So, 19 is fine. 19 is fine. I was already panicking for nothing. 19 is fine. Okay. So, we're going to finish Logical today again. One other series finished. And... Hopefully, La Baguette. So, that'll cover all our expenses. This will cover all the news we bought and... Uh, spent on today, and we'll have that to buy movies. Plus, a little bonus. But I hope we can spend the bonus... I hope we can spend the bonus on a transmitter. If we can buy a transmitter tomorrow... That would be just... marvelous. That would be marvelous. If we can buy a transmitter tomorrow, we could get really high-paying adverts uh, for much more reasonable uh, ratings and percentage uh, from tomorrow onwards. And that would be killer. Killer. Let's just save for the day. I'm going to show you another interesting uh, 
dynamic element. Um, in uh, days where there is a contest ongoing, like today, a Sammy Award contest, if you go to Betty's office, up at the top floor of Matt TV building, you'll see that there is the chart has three bars, so you can see who's ahead. And right now, we're ahead slightly over Matt TV. Fun TV is just over slightly Matt TV, and Sun TV is at the bottom for Sammy for the best news today. So, love story, kiss kiss. Comedy, Charlie Chaplin, and they also have a love story. Right? You can also turn it off if you don't like it. But I like it. So let's go see if we can get some more news. We have to keep up the news race today. Make sure we win the Sammy. And little Rose watching a love story with her mom. This, by the way, is our audience, so no matter what channel we're clicking on this TV, the audience is always relating to our show, our broadcast. So they finished a 0% ad that is not worth very much. They have Sun, which isn't too bad, it's a 10% ad, and, well, uh, a million ad, let's say, and okay, 28, 20, 16, great. So, at tw uh, 9 o'clock... 2000 to replace a right let's replace this one a lesbian and they got 23 with phase 4 16 with flash dance and we got 23 right great with high noon so we got over a million so la baguette is done yes we got it we got it so let's finish logical early if we can and get an early start on soft chart today or or if we can get a good advert at 20 percent for a good duration of the shop right now we might be able to squeeze in so you see 50 percent is 2.5 million viewers 20 percent in two days days. That's a bit risky. No live show or love story. And the penalty is humongous. Yeah, there really are no safe bets in advertising so that we could get just a bit more money in the short term. So let's go back to the office. And it's nighttime already now. Let's go to the office. And just make sure so soft shop will be done doggy right we can finish tomorrow as well that's another 40 so 85 so that covers the day that's profit and right we'll need to get new adverts for tomorrow okay so let's see if we can buy something with uh, 40,000 or less. That's perhaps, I, yeah, so four blocks, 108,000, that's pretty good. Box office was, was good. Top Gun is expensive. Tucker is crap. Well, it's crap in the game. It's actually a pretty interesting movie. Last Emperor, that would be ideal. I think this would get... But actually we have to finish off a bunch of 5%. Yeah. Actually, we might be able to get away with weaker movies tomorrow because we only have 5% as to, to finish off. So actually, we might go for the uh, the bargain bin of, uh, of of broadcasting options for tomorrow, and that way, yeah, actually that's not a bad plan. And that way, we might we might uh, be able to afford a whoa. Let's replace this one. 
so 16, 19, yeah, we're gonna win this. An earthquake, aftershock, so breaking news, and Democrats are not fit to govern, the Republicans say. That's a surprise, that's a shocker. You'd think they'd like each other. Okay, so 16%, 21, and... Oh yeah! Ah, I hate it that we can't get 20% ads right now because High Noon is just kicking ass. 